can't see without my glasses. It's so terrible. I thought I tested. I apologize. I actually wrote down a few comments, and I'd like to just make sure that I hit all of the highlights of, of, of what I've written, um, because it's important that I acknowledge um, the opportunity to be here today to speak to all of you. I'm here because you've asked me to be here. And that, that says a tremendous amount to, to me. This is where we started. It says a lot about civic engagement. It says so much about each of you and uh, your, your, your desire for civic engagement, for political engagement. I wish this existed across PA 17. Let me say this, however, that during this time um, of my run for public office, I have met such wonderful people. I'd like to make this a bit more of a, of a personal statement. I have met truly wonderful people in Berks County, in Schuylkill County, in Dauphin County, in Lebanon County, in Perry County. I do not believe that there is only one person in PA 17, one Democrat, who can run and win in this district. I don't believe that. I believe in my heart and in my soul that I am not only, I believe I'm a good candidate, I believe I will make a better congresswoman. I believe that it takes, as I said, compassion, commitment, courage, and capacity. I know I have those qualities. My life story, the work I've done, the work I've chosen to do, the way I have lived my life is a reflection of that. You know, as I've grown older, as I've gotten more mature, um, the years of piling together, um, you know, the um, accomplishments on a resume have become a bit less important than the quality of the work. It is important for me to be able to say that I'm doing good work. That's always been certainly in the back of my head. Right now, it is really front and center. And I know that each of you believe in that. It is also the case that I know that this district has significant challenges and that we will not get better with the same leadership. I don't say that to slam my opponent. I really don't. I am saying it because it's sincere and because sometimes we need to speak the truth. Sometimes we're so nice that we allow ourselves to be injured for fear of injuring someone else who is harming us. Don't let that happen this time. Don't let that happen. You have an opportunity to vote for a person who really will, in fact, think through the issues and who will listen and hear your voice around the issues that concern us. There is no guarantee that we will all always agree. That doesn't happen in life. It doesn't happen in any relationship that I know of, not even the best of them. But the key is this, to have open communication and to respect each other's opinions. It's very basic. It's what I believe in, and that's why I stand here today. We could talk about a hundred other issues, and in point of fact, it would come down to the very same set of principles, which has to do with the way in which we treat one another around how we move forward. I'd like to ask for your vote. I am sincere and committed to this process. I think we need sincere, committed leadership. Thank you.